Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking a look at the starter kit for Raspberry Pi from uh, Labists. So I ordered this one from from Amazon and uh, basically it comes with a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, model B and 4 gigs of RAM as well as a 32 gigs uh, SD card. So uh, the reason I ordered it is because actually um, this one comes uh, with the Pi, but also all the accessories, which is cool. So this is uh, basically the Pi here in the box. That's the first thing you see at the top. Then comes um, basically some packaging and other things. So what's that? Okay, some kind of VIP card. Um, yep. Uh, so this this that. Uh, and now there's some other love coupon. Okay, so that's some donation for a charity. Great. Uh, and so let's keep see what's in there. Packaging. Um, Right, so now this is the box that comes with it. So obviously, I don't really expect much from that box. I'm assuming it's going to be just like a generic kind of like plastic box. Uh, there's some interesting feature about it. I'll get back to it later. Uh, some cable. Um, so let's see what's this one. Like some copper on here. Okay, so it's some some micro USB. Uh, so that's used to be the port of charge for the old Pi for the Raspberry Pi 3. But the, pole, the f Raspberry Pi 4 has actually um, Type-C USB charging, so we sh should see that on the charger. Right, and so this one is another cable. Uh, this one is HDMI, micro HDMI, so useful. I mean, it's not every kit that comes with HDMI cable. Uh, okay, some, some kind of quick start guide. Not too sure I'm going to need that, but... Maybe if you're starting out, there might be some important information in there. Um, okay, so that's the charger. Uh, so like I mentioned, uh, the charger for the Pi 4 is Type-C. Uh, so that should be um, make things a lot more practical, especially nowadays everything is Type-C. So, uh, so you can see this one is a 3 amp charger, which is also the minimum or the recommended spec for a Raspberry Pi 4 charger. And it's something people a lot of overlook and yeah. So what's that? Okay, so some kind of fan, a uh, small fan. I guess the Pi is going to heat a lot, so you can mount that. There should be some screws provided with it later, and this is kind of like a USB thing. Um, all right, so this one has a Type-C on one side. I guess you, you should use it on your computer to flash um, the SD card, and so you can sort of like plug it in. It's a bit of a shitty thing, actually. Um, it, it It is probably quite a, of a cheap thing here, but then again, if you don't have a... SD card reader, I guess that's what it's for. Uh, okay, and then we have like some some cooling things. Uh, so those are like uh, sticky um, self-adhesive cooling pads. Um, so the Raspberry Pi um, 2 and 3 already were heating quite a bit, especially the third one. Uh, so we'll need that one. SD card, obviously, 32 gigs. And um, yeah, so let's uh, let's take that out of the box. I'm gonna proceed right away to sort of attach this this pad on there. How do you open this box? Right. So there's some kind of you can put your finger in there, but so it, it seems like the whole cover is thick from the inside. So I'm gonna have to sort of rip this. Away. So I guess uh, <laughs> there's no way you can re return this again later. Anyway. Um, so that's the Pi 4. Uh, looks a lot like the other Pis in terms of dimensions. Um, the main difference is uh, you have this time USB Type 3, which is um, pretty cool. Gigabit LAN, obviously some more USBs, uh, which are Type 2. GPIOs as usual, um, USB Type C for the charge uh, on the left there. Um, and uh, then you have like just two more micro USB, uh, micro USB, there's a micro HDMI and a Pi jack. So the Type C would go in here. And this is how you're gonna plug your Pi to boot it up. Um, actually, that charger is cool because it has the the button on it. And then some kind of information card. Uh, I think is this is just to tell you that you should definitely connect those uh, those fans on there. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna just try to to do that right now. Uh, let's see. So I guess um, this one goes here. Uh, maybe. Where is it? Okay. Great. Yeah, this one goes there, the bigger one, uh, and then this one has a like a smaller. Sh no, I don't think it. No, it must be good. It must be going here. So the card actually doesn't tell you 
where to put it. Let me check in the manual if they say anything about that. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> it looks like those instructions from like a medication package. Anyway, nothing is going there. Um, all right, so I'm supposing it goes this way. Uh, so there's a big square one. So I'm gonna put this one first. This one goes, I guess, on what is the maybe the CPU or the graphic chip of it. I'm not quite sure. I'm not an expert in there. So anyway, you just peel it off, stick it on there. Um, same thing for the other one, which has more like of a rectangular shape. This one, you cannot mistake it. There's only one chip where it's going to fit on it. So uh, if I ever peel it off. Yeah, okay, so put that on there. Simple. And then the last one. So I'm going to put it on that small square one there. Um, I'm supposing the the shiny one at the top there. It's kind of like uh, probably Wi-Fi, actually. Oops. Um, all right, so there you go. So. I guess that's how it goes. I don't think there's a specific orientation that works better or not. Um, the fan is something you're going to be mounting through that uh, speaker looking grid thing at the top of the case. So yeah, um, so that's basically it. So let's try to get that into the case now. So actually that case is, I mean, it's nothing fancy, but uh, so it has this thing on the top. You can see on the side, we got some indications just in case you don't know which are the inputs and the outputs and what it is. I mean, like when you're a starter, I guess that makes sense. Interestingly, this case has like a tripod mount. Uh, so that's something I've never seen before in a Raspberry Pi case. Uh, it has those rubber pads, okay, quite nice rubber pads, but yeah. So, so I'm guessing this is something you can mount on a tripod for whatever reason, but I, it's not something you'd probably do every day. All right, so pop that up and screws uh, again no indication in there to what screws you're supposed to use so let's see let's see how this actually goes in there because no it must be going this way yeah uh, so you, yeah and you can align it you'll see it says line on the on the right side and so. it's not so not so practical to get it in there yeah so so construction of that case is not like it's not like a premium case obviously i mean like probably cost like five bucks uh but i mean it's a, it's a case let's try to get it uh, no it's not it's not really flat in there so i'm assuming the the whole jack and usbs there uh, must be sliding into those side holes of the case now let's try to see if I can screw it in. Um, uh, so there's a lot of screws, not too sure. I'm gonna pick this one, that's the largest one. I'll try the other ones after quickly just to see if, it's, if there's any difference. So the screwdriver is not magnetized, so that's something to know. Maybe, maybe if you have a, a magnetized one, I might recommend that. My fingers are a bit big in that case and it's, oops, nope. So it's actually no shit. Uh, it's not. It's not right. Need to take that out. I think. Uh, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna be able to push that. It's weird. It's okay. Let, let me take it out just a sec. Maybe. I, I think what's happening is like I mentioned before the my USBs there and the in the whole jack audio jack are not. They're not into it, so it's kind of like the board is kind of, it's kind of like broken in there, like. So, yeah, I got to push that through. I have to push that through somehow. So there's not really anything to grip, to hold on to. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, I, I wish there would be like maybe something more practical here anyway. So now the screw is going to be aligning properly and that should make things a lot easier. Uh, I'm wondering actually if, wait, wait, let me try out that other screws that has like a, like a head, like it has like a, it's more pointy. I, I'm assuming it is for the fan, but well, let me, let me just try it in there. Just this one. I wish they would tell 
which screws goes where. I mean, for a starter kit, it's always nice when <laughs> you have someone, okay, this one just like rotates in there. That's definitely not. No, 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 no. okay, get that out. So it is, the screw you need to use is the, it's not the, the one with the head. Uh, that's the one you're supposed to use with the fan on top, I guess. Again, nothing in there, so yeah, that's kind of like useless. Uh, right, so use the biggest one, the the the, the largest screw uh, that is not pointy at the end. That's the one you need to use to mount your pie on there. There there are actually some cases out there that have um, which are nice because they they sort of lock the pie into place on their own, so you don't need like to add extra screws in there. I mean, it's just one more step. It's probably not necessary. I guess that's because it's a cheap cheap case, but yeah. Um, Right, so let's keep going. Yeah, I wish that screwdriver would be magnetized. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much it would cost to add extra screwdriver, but yeah. A better one would be best. Next time I need to get my, uh, my fancy screwdriver. All right, okay. One more. All right, so it's kind of like secure in there, which is good. Uh, it doesn't really align super well there. I mean, like I mentioned, case finish, it's, it's not like something, yeah. And so that grid on the top there is that, that's where you would screw the fans. I'm not gonna put, the, put it right there now. I don't really care. Yeah, and um, close it like that, and that's it, really. All right, so that's it, guys, for this uh, starter kit for the Raspberry Pi 4. So it comes with a case, uh, USB Type-C charger, 3 amps, 32 gigs of SD card, um, all the cables you need as well. Um, could use a bit more instructions, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward otherwise. Also, this is my first video on the channel, so make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and all feedback and comments are appreciated. Uh, see you next time.